InDesign's pen tool is perfect for drawing straight lines. You can make curves too, but I'll show you that in a different lesson. Now before we start, we really should make sure that the swatches panel shows a fill of none. Otherwise, we'll be driven a bit crazy. All right, so we did that. Let's get the pen tool. First, I'll show you how to draw a closed path or a closed shape. I'm going to zoom in a bit. You simply click where you want the corners to be. We're not dragging at all. See, I can move the pen wherever I want to. It's where I click that makes the difference. And to close the path, simply click on the point where you started. You can't see it in the video, but there is a small circle next to the pen. So click and it's done. Now to stop drawing, I simply hold down the command or control key and click outside the shape. Now the pen tool is perfect for drawing open paths. That's the main reason why we use it. So I'm going to draw a little house. And I just click on the corners and the roof. And I'm making a little chimney. And I can stop right here. I don't have to close the path. I'll click the command or control key and stop drawing. Now this is a little bit crooked. Say I want to draw a house with straight lines and use 45 degree angles for the roof. All I have to do is hold down the shift key and draw. So I'm holding the shift key and drawing. I don't have to know the exact angle and I don't have to know exactly where I'm going. InDesign figures that out for me. See how I clicked over here but the end but the anchor point is over here because InDesign is being very precise in doing that part for me. Now, I don't know which house you prefer, but right now I'm going to concentrate on the one on the left. And I would like to get rid of that chimney so that I can show you how to use the delete anchor point tool, which I call the minus pen tool. I just click on the corners of the chimney and it's gone. The roof is a little bit crooked, so I'm going to delete those anchor points too. And there's my little house without the chimney. Now I would like to add a chimney on the other side so I can show you how to use the add anchor point tool. I'm going to add some anchor points on an existing line. So in order to make a chimney I need four more anchor points. One at the top and bottom of the points on the roof and two for the chimney itself. So that's four anchor points. Let's look at it with the direct selection tool. See the four points that we just added. Now do we use the direct selection tool to make the chimney. Just grab one of the points and put them where you think they should go. That's not a very good chimney so I'm going to just fiddle with it until it's more straight and that's pretty good. So you can see that the pen tool is perfect for drawing non-symmetrical shapes. You can draw straight lines that are vertical and horizontal and at 45 degrees by holding the shift key. And but if you wanted a perfectly symmetrical house I would recommend using the polygon tool. You could draw a triangle, draw a rectangle, draw another rectangle up here for the chimney, and then use the Pathfinder tool to combine them. Of course, you would end up with a line down here at the bottom because whenever you make a polygon, it's always a closed path. So it's up to you which way you want to do it. Now to draw curves, you can use the pencil tool or you can use the pen tool. I'm going to show lessons on both of those and I will see you over there soon.